Well, 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 for people where they listen to Matthias, <laughs> I don't listen to Matthias unless my attention was called like this on this video. Uh, some people called my attention. Oh, now this is a nice video for me to spread. I said, I don't like to listen to Matthias. Matthias is not teaching anything new. Matthias is not making sense. All Matthias does is to paint rubbish on top of whatever the church says. And um, his gullible followers say, no, follow him. And the reason people like Matthias are uh, as if they are gaining ground is because several of the church leaders have failed. Yes, because um, they have left the doctrine of Christ. Because church has been meant to look religious. Meanwhile, it was supposed to be just followers of Christ. So people like Matthias, you know, they push on that to you know appear as if they make sense. To me, Matthias does not make sense. 
Matthias is just simply against Christianity. And for those who are seeing Christianity as declining or who are seeing Christianity as nonsense, they will quickly, including the ones who are very learned, who knows more than Matthias, but they will follow him foolishly. Matthias does not make sense for me. I can't listen to him. He's empty. For him, it's just about contention, whether he made sense or not. Matthias has no clue about what are the problems of the black people and how to solve them. Anything he sees, he bends it to make the church look bad or paint the church in a bad light. Now look at this school now. Matthias say, uh, they are singing Hail Mary. Before we delve deeper into this, I want to tell you something. There is time for everything. And if you understand that, you will begin to see people like Matthias as being stupid. There is time for everything. We wake up in the morning around 6 at most. 6 o'clock. Okay, let me use those children for my illustration. You wake up around 6. By 7.30, they are almost gone to school. Then let's say from, let's say study start from 8. From 8 to 9 is 1 hour. 9 to 10, 2 hours. 10 to 11, 3 hours. 11 to 12, 4 hours. 12 to 1, 5 hours. 1 to 2. Six hours and two to three, seven hours. How much time is spent in school? About seven hours is spent in school. Now, how much time is spent in church? Mostly Sundays. You spent two hours or three hours. Two hours at most. Now, Matthias believes you should not spend just that two hours in church. That's on Sunday. You should not spend it. It must be converted to a time that you learn computer with. Matthias believes the backwardness of our children is because they spend just two hours in church a day. Or for those who go to, to Block Rosie, the Catholic ones, that um, maybe one hour in the evening, 5 p.m., you forget that the rest of the day, apart from around 8 p.m., what the children does is to play. We've never had Matthias telling them, don't play. Don't spend so much time playing. Use those times to learn whatever computer or how to assemble a phone because he's, they are fond of, you know, there's a, a video they have been sending that Chinese children are assembling phones and uh, white children are assembling phones. Do those white children assemble phones all the time? Is there no time for other things? There is time for house chores for the children who are grown a bit. So, if they don't learn all of those things in school, where are they going to learn it? That is why I tell you, if you want to really look at what Matthias is saying, peruse it properly, you will know that he's acting so stupid. How much time is spent in the church? Okay, those who goes for morning mass, we are not talking about the adults now. Yeah, as in the Catholic people. How much time do they spend? At most one hour. The rest of the day, till around 6 p.m., is spent at the workplace. So that one hour you spend in the church is what Matthias wants. Uh, you must convert it to time you learn computer. What of the rest of the day? Now, that tells you Matthias is not there to make any reasonable change. He's just there to attack the church. Perhaps that time should have been concentrated on learning idol worshipping. I don't know. But to him, you must learn science and technology. He's talking about science and technology. What do children learn in school? There is what you should understand. Our part of the world is not so advanced. And we will get there. You can't be comparing yourself to China today. You have to 
gradually grow. It took them many years, gradually. And if you want to reset, you start from your government. There are places you have to fix, not uh, um, disturbing children who are going about their religious activity. I don't want to talk about the spiritual side of man, uh, but fools don't understand that man is a spiritual being. There is time spent to commune with your spirit. And if you check out those time spent to commune uh, with your spiritual side, to do the spiritual thing, and the rest of them, it is even less compared to other times spent playing, doing other shows, going to business. But Matthias feels until you convert those times for religious activities to learn how to assembly phones because it is easier. Assembly phones. Matthias, how many phones have you assembled? Okay, let's assume, okay, your work is on the caterpillar side. You say caterpillar parts. How many caterpillars have you built? Majorities of the industries in Southeast, our Alibo, are owned by Christians. Yes, Innocent is a Christian. Ibeto is a Christian. Kutis PLC, they are owned by Christians. People who go to church. They are not owned by other worshippers. Yes. So, Matthias, you should have started assembling tractors, but you have not done that. You still take people to India to treat them, Matthias. You spend our foreign exchange. I don't want to talk about your accounting. You don't give account of <laughs> a charity organization. or the People pay money in your name, not in the name of the patient. I don't want to talk about your modus operandi, Matthias. I don't want to talk about it because you have, you have been criticizing the church. But look at you. You are doing everything the church does. The other day, people donated standing fans. I thought you people do not feel heat. Uh, sooner they will donate air conditioners. And you're talking about moving, you know, having branches. That is how church operates. Money must be spent. Somebody must donate money. Now you are going to deceive our children. I hope my child is not there. Because if I've seen my child in that video, I would have asked you some question. In the silly video you are sharing. You want to mock our faith, you go to Brock Rosie. You have not asked yourself question, do those children spend all the rest of their day at that place? At most, one hour they are gone. And you want them to use that one hour to learn to start fixing phones. Matthias, the reason, the people where they follow you now, people will not get sense. Insensible people, people will not get sense and then go follow you. People where they reasonable like us, where they do critical thinking, not go follow you. And I'm, I'm surprised. Most of Matthias Gulebu followers are people who are learned. I'm surprised. Sometimes I, I, I don't know whether there is a, a demonic inversion. Yes, they know Lucy. They know Francisco. They know Jacinta. That is from the religious angle. Does that mean that they don't know other things? They also know algebra. They know board mass and the rest of them. That is cool angle. And like I said, there is time for everything. They know how to make sentences. They are taught how to write letters and other things. In our Nigerian setting, we are developing. You can't compare us to developed countries. There are certain things we do, and with time we we'll get there. And you talk about factory most of the time. There are these factories are here. Clothes making factory, they are here. Phone assembly plants, they are here. And none of them are owned by idol worshippers. They are owned by religious people. I don't know who even allowed you to, into that Brock Rosary Center to go and make a mockery of what you don't know. There is time for everything, Matthias. You ask them how many of them can operate computer. They said two. And you quickly 
went to how many of them can assembly phone i ask you again matthias how many phone have you yourself assembly how many tractors you are a tractor um you sell caterpillar parts how many tractor have you assembled how many have you built matthias now some school teaches computer yes some school teaches computer and some pupils are computer literates depend on the school during the time of peter being in anambra state most school have computers because computers were donated to schools and many of the students as at that time were computer literates so learning science and technology it is done in the school not in the church and that is why i keep asking how many times is it i even spent in the church how many times do we spend in the church? Apart from during the time we have um, a week-long program, which is maybe once or twice in a year. How many times you spend in the church? And anytime you see people in the church, your animosity grows. They must leave the church and learn how to assemble computers. It's your dikwa gemma. Can you, Matthias, operate a computer? Can you operate a computer? Even that your particular phone, you cannot use it properly. There are functions you don't know. That if you bring that phone, we show you some functions you don't understand. Stop intimidating our children. Now the two said, two of them said they can operate computer. You quickly switch to can they assembly um, phones? You are talking about assembling of phone. Is everything done by hand? There is a machine assembly parts. Only few things are done by hands. So what do you think about that? Matthias, can you yourself build phone? You tell them if they can build phone. Can you build phone? Can your children build phone? Your own children, Matthias, can they build phones? What can your children do, Matthias? Tell me what they can do. Yes. What have you done about that? Are your children building computers and phones? Matthias, can you build Carapita parts? Can you fabricate any of them? If you want to compare your country to developed worlds, it is the country, um, the government. But you know that our problem here is leadership. But you will not attack them. Because the church is simple. Uh, the church is unharmful. The church is calm. It is the church. Because the church will not do you anything. You will not also attack Islam because you know the consequences. The church is easier for you. You are telling them to ask their brothers at the catechism to show them where they will learn science and, te and technology. What do they do in school then? Most of the children there go to school. What do they do? Why not go to school and tell them to inculcate all of this? And you help them by donating computers and the rest of them. All the teaching aids. Why don't you go there and tell them? I don't know why people will copy Matthias. I don't know what, what I personally can learn from Matthias. You want them to leave out those times for catechism or um, religious studies, which is just maybe one hour in a day for those who goes they should concentrate those times in learning computer what are they doing in the school that they spend seven hours a day matthias your case is a case of misplaced priority that the most confused person i've seen and you are confusing a lot of people the reason they are buying your nonsense is because some of our church leaders have failed if not why would i listen to you I am like the Berean. Even in the church, you tell me something. I will think about it. I don't just assimilate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still surprised that learned people will follow Matthias. Or intelligent people. Okay, let me not say learned people. Because a lot of learned people are still stupid. I'm still surprised that intelligent people will listen to Matthias. When I listen to you one or two times, I shove you aside. 
because you don't make sense. For me, if you come as a comedian, I might accept you. You're not even funny to me, but I might uh, begin to accept you. Seven hours in school and you tell them to leave Brock Rosie and ask their leaders at the Brock Rosie or at the catechism or at the uh, Sunday school. Uh, okay, not even Sunday school. Um, religious studies time uh, to convert it to learn. You have not gone to schools to make sure they are learning computers or how to assemble phones. It is where they meet for the spiritual things. Is it not madness? We are talking about hunger. Most people who are doing selling motor parts, most traders in our southeast and elsewhere, they go to church on Sunday. Many of them still go to morning mass for the ones that are Catholic. They spend at most two hours in the church, morning mass one hour at most. The rest of the day is spent in their business. And many of them are doing well. You want to teach them business or what? They must convert those times. I have studied you, Matthias. And it didn't take me time to peruse properly who you are. Christians were donating to your programs for you to help the poor. They never knew you are an antichrist. You are heading for somewhere. Until they knew they pulled out and you, you channeled all your resources, everything, to now attack the fingers that fed you. You think people, if people don't come to you, they cannot get help from elsewhere? All of the learnings will be in school. The church is not a place for learning of science and technology. It's a spiritual place. You learn spiritual things. There is time for everything, Matthias. Get sense. Try get sense. If you don't have, go and buy one. You should ask the schools to upgrade their ways of learning, their means of learning. Upgrade so that our children will grow more, not the church. Matthias, you don't know the problem. You don't know the problem. So you cannot solve it. Have you been to technical schools? You have not been to any of them. Matthias, how many of our children who are inventors? We have seen a lot of them in the videos. How many of them have you sponsored to come out with their finished product so that it will be patented and Others will learn it and money will come in. How many of them have you sponsored? You are just being noisy over the place. Part of the problem of this country is that they don't sponsor talents. There are many talents, but they are not sponsored. The technical schools are trying, but then, when you see creative people, you spend on them educationally wise. The schools need to be upgraded. That is the work of the school. The schools are a place of learning, not the church. Those developed countries sponsor talents. If you know how to do a thing and you like doing it, they give you the necessary education. And you come out with your best of that. And your inventory or reinvention will be patented, registered in your name. And it will be duplicated. Many will learn it. And you will make money. Matthias, you don't have it. You don't have it. Go and learn. Stop going about religious places and disturbing them. I don't know how you gain access to that place. The solution is for us to upgrade our schools of learning and to sponsor talents. Whenever you see any, they come at random. You pick them up. Sponsor them to do that thing they are good at. That is a solution. And not attacking the church. 
I beg, I don't live here. Una bye bye. I beg, me wanna share this video. I want Matthias to see it and respond to it if he can. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Bye bye for now.